What's going on everyone? Today we have a new update to Auto Plugins 2, which is version 1.11, and we're going to go through and see all the different things that has changed with this really cool app. And if you're not familiar with this application, it just makes your life a lot easier when it comes to plugins. You just go in there, select a plugin you'd like to install, restart your Vita, and you're good to go. And the plugin should be running at full speed. So that way you're not going on your PC to do things manually, and it's just a pain to go through all these different plugins manually, and it's just not worth it. So one cool feature we're gonna be looking at is the new PSP Plugins Manager. So we're gonna take a look at that and see what we can do there to manage all of the plugins that relates to the PSP Adrenaline application. So let's head on over to the PC and see what we got. All right, welcome. I almost wanna show off my Attack on Titan shirt. But then you can't hear me if I'm that far away. See, it's not good to have the microphone there. It's good to have it here, in your ear. I'm just kidding. Anyways, <laughs> let's go and do the auto plugins update. And if you already have auto plugins 2 installed, all you have to do is run the application and make sure you're on the Wi Fi connection. And boom, there is the update. And this is the beautiful thing about having a Vita. It just makes things a lot easier, smoother. Yeah, that's gonna be covered in another video where I talk about what you should do to get a PS Vita instead of a PSP. So version 111, update GE patch plugin by the official flow version 0 0.18 by one, by 1.1. Update GTA native resolution patch by the official flow version 0 0.3, Grand Theft Auto, I believe. Uh, update better track plug by and then update UDCD add new function PSP plugin manager I'm so excited to see that and the DS4 touch okay let's accept that and it's 9.45 megabytes download and make sure guys to follow me on social media for updates on the latest merch that's going to be coming out or the new merch that's coming out soon so i have instagram and facebook make sure to follow me there and all the links will be in the description down below for you and also twitter so you're going into the update here unpacking the vpk if you don't have auto plugins too i suggest downloading it right away that vpk will be available for you down below in the description and it's one of the best applications to have on your Vita. It's also a must have. You have to have this to make your life a lot easier. Uh, adding plugins manually is a pain in the butt, especially if you mess up something. Like if you forget a line or whatever, you could possibly just corrupt your entire, not corrupt, but just completely screw up your whole uh, SD2 Vita memory card, which you do not want. And I've done that many times before I had auto plugins one and two. And I wanted to do videos where I'll show you each plugin to do it manually, like install it manually, but it just doesn't make sense, especially when something like this exists. And it's just something I wanted to do for the community for them to learn how plugins work. But I was like, what's the point? This just makes it a lot easier. So anyways, here is our main menu. Vita plugins, PSP plugins, extras, and settings. Let's go into settings real quick. And we have all sorts of languages, so download available languages. Oh, and Chinese looks like it's been uh, added. 1.30. Enable auto update, yes, change language. So here are your different languages. Very good for all of my uh, worldwide international users change font I guess here's where you would drop the font that you'd like to use going through your Vita shell adding it in a uh, folder and going from there very simple uh, extras we have configure pkgj options reset config.txt in URO download and install Enzo VPK download and install battery fixer so download and install PSP2 battery fixer fixes most of PS Vita's battery related problems. I'm going to have to cover that in another video. P 
PSP plugins. So here's the new plugins manager. Very good. So now we can actually uninstall the plugins. Very good. Now before on my other video, uh, I only talked about how you can disable it by pressing the triangle button, but now we have this new option where we can uh, completely uninstall them. That is great. So UXO and UMAO. I only have two different plugins, Category Light and CXMB, which is the Custom Themes Manager. And let's see here. So disable the plugins with triangle, mark unmarked plugin, clean selected plugins. So what if what happens if I press select? Huh. Alright, so pressing left and right will take me to VSH game and pops. Swap partitions by pressing L and R. So let's press X on this one. This one was just installed. Oops. Uh, I don't know what just happened here. <laughs> what just happened? All right, so now we have uninstall by pressing the triangle. CXMB uninstalled. Let's press start to exit. And let's run adrenaline one time. And I'm gonna go into the recovery menu. So I'm gonna be holding the R button to access recovery menu. And let's see our plugins. So they're both disabled, but they have not been uninstalled. Not sure what that means, really. Whoops. Exit recovery menu. And I'm just going to close out here. Let's go back to auto plugins too. Whoops, wrong way. I still have auto plugins one just for a backup, just in case. So if you have that, uh, no need for you to delete it unless you want to save some space, go ahead. But I suggest you keeping it. Uh, let's see, go to PSP plugins. And uh, plugins manager, uninstall plugins is what it says. But I'm very confused as to how this works because I press triangle and then it, it just gives me this green, which is uh, a little. So now they're marked as yellow. They're marked as yellow. They're not green, so they should be disabled. Um. It feels like I'm looking at the same, same, uh, same options here. So before this was in here, the P, uh, the plugins manager, you would just go into your PSP plugins, like all of them, and from here you would just disable it with triangle, which they already are. But yeah, that looks like that's about it for. Uh, this update so that is basically it for this uh, video or this update here and it just is amazing to see that we're constantly having updates to the homebrew scene when it comes to the ps vita it's really good very exciting that these guys are just continuing to give us these updates and continuing to give us new features fixes and it's just amazing it's such a great time to have a ps vita to be in the homebrew scene and just have so much fun to it and thank you daniel for subscribing to the channel so yeah that is it for this one guys thank you so much for watching any questions comment down below and i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible take care and i'll see you guys on the next one hey everyone thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it if you enjoy my content please hit that subscription button here on my face 
and that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. And if you're looking for PSP content, I have that playlist right here for you. And PS Vita content right down below, that full playlist. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one.